This is Coombe Cassis for IFL TV and Association of MTK Global in Newcastle. Um, obviously joined by a devastated Ted Cheeseman. Yeah. Uh, Ted, yeah, your reaction to the decision in your defeat to um, Scott Fitzgerald tonight? It was, it's disgusting. I mean, um, as soon as the bell, last bell went, I, I, in my head I clearly cruised the fight. Then, I mean, the last two I might have lost. Maybe the first round was close and I could have given it to him, but two to nine and uh, two to ten. I pissed, do you know what I mean, 11-12, he, he got, but he was desperate, he was trying to do something, trying to knock me out, because he's a big puncher, that's what his plan was in the end, he, he, I'm losing on the points, I've got to try and knock him out, but I managed to get through, I was still popping the jab, still being sharp, still making a miss, and I never got a decision, but as soon as the bell went, I looked round the ring, I said to a few people, because everyone's been slagging me off the last six months, Ah, oh, Ted Cheeseman boxing. Ah, oh, we're gonna see someone take punches to the head. Now nah, we're gonna see someone defend with their head. See, see some. I boxed class there for 12 rounds tonight. Class, a couple of rounds obviously nicked, but I was still kept to the game plan. Do you know what I mean? Um, everyone thinks I can't box. What well, about when I beat Carson Jones? How about when I beat other p opponents boxing, boxing off the jab, off the jab? I made Scott Fitzgerald look average there. I was making slipping, mitting him with the uppercut. I, I boxed better, but that was the best performance I had as a professional boxer tonight, do you know what I mean? And everyone's raving about how big of Hunter Scott is. You know, I won't hurt once, he hardly hit me clean, he's only on the gloves, do you know what I mean? And like, again, going back to it, as soon as our, um, the bell went, I looked around the ring and boxing people who weren't part of Sky, maybe signed the match or whatever, everyone had me winning, well done Ted, you boxed class, I looked at Sky and Sky, that, oh yeah, uh, yeah, maybe one round draw. It's like that. It's all against me already before the fight had happened. You know what I mean? It, it's disgusting. You know what I mean? Scott Fitzgerald knew he lost. Michael Jennings and the team knew he lost. You know what I mean? I don't know what I had to do. I boxed my last fight against Kieran Conway. Marched forward for 12 rounds. Again, thought what everyone thought I won three or four rounds. Tonight, boxed on the back foot on another style. Do you know what I mean? And everyone thought I won again three or four rounds. I never got the decision. Last time I drew, I thought. Worst ways, if they give me a draw, at least I still kept the belt or whatever. But come on, 116, 113 twice, and 115, 114. What was they watching? Was they scoring the fight before the rounds even started? Do you know what I mean? It's disgusting. I don't know. I've trained for 14 weeks. Yeah, give my. I've changed my life around the last six months. Do you know what I mean? I lost to Sergio Garcia. My head weren't there. Do you know what I mean? My head weren't there. I let my head get it. I put my head out to get it. But look what I've done the next fight. I come back. I, I, I worked on slipping and stuff, but. Obviously, Kieran Conway's a big, tall, rangy boxer. If I stood off him, I wouldn't have been able to do that. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't have been able to, he'd have picked me off. Scott Fitzgerald did tonight. We worked on the camp, moving on the back foot, moving on the back foot, picking the shots, letting the speed go, letting the jab go, let, working off the speed. It worked. Everything worked properly. It worked, it worked good, and I boxed class. And It's just all the real boxing people who know boxing know I won tonight, and it's disgusting. It's just absolute politics. Sky Sports won anti-fight like for Scott Fitzgerald. Scott Fitzgerald sells a lot of tickets, Andy Fowler sells a lot of tickets, he's from Liverpool, he's Preston's West near Manchester, he's down the road from each other. It's the whole politics and I'm sick of it. Now, I, I, honestly, right this second I've give up boxing, but you never know, But like, because obviously I'm angry, but right now I ain't got the drive, right in this second, if someone said to me you can fight in three months, right now my, my, my heart's broken, I ain't got the drive to think, let's get back in the gym, do you know what I mean, let's go again. What I put my body through and my dieted and sacrificed, all for this. Not, I don't care about a payday, do you know what I mean? You can go to work, I'm only 24 years old, there's loads of careers I can take. It ain't about payday, it's about pushing as far as I can in my career. My head was mentally gone at the start of the year, I boxed a very good fighter in uh, Sergio Garcia. But I showed tonight, everyone knows I can fight and have a fight. I showed tonight I can box, because everyone didn't believe I can box. I showed I can box classy off the back foot. It's another unbeaten fighter, do you know what I mean? Box class, I, I, I'm not blowing my own trumpet, but I box unbelievable. No one thought I could do that, except for my team, do you know what I mean? Other than my team, no one didn't think I was going to walk out there and do that. Everyone thought it was going to be a punch up, and then one of us get done in six or seven rounds. But I never, I box class, kept to the game plan, and I won the fight. I don't care what anyone's got to say to me, I won the fight, it's disgusting, and I'm sick, and I'm heartbroken about boxing, because all I've given to boxing, boxing give fuck all to me now. And, that, and that's the exact truth. Because I don't know what more I have to do in there tonight, except for knocking him out. And if I knocked him out, I think I'd have got disqualified. How did you see the first, the fight after the first six rounds in your head? How was 5-1 to me. Yeah. 
five one to me. Mm. Then I'll run. Then I'll run seven, eight, nine, ten, and then at eleven and twelve. He was coming on because he's desperate, and he, he was nick he nicked them rounds because obviously I had to keep on the move. If I stood there, he's a big puncher. You are both getting tired. He's taking a risk. I've won the fight already. I've already won nine of the rounds. Do you know what I mean? Even if I only won eight of them rounds, I still won eight rounds to four. Do you know what I mean? But what more can I do? It's, I don't know. It's disgusting. I, I'm, I'm sick. I'm sick of the sport right now. Do you know what I mean? I, I, sitting there, I, I, I've got to do all this drug testing and stuff. I just want to go home. Do you know what I mean? I want to get back. I want to go and see my friends. Go and see my family. I've left my boy four days not here with me. And I, I, I've sacrificed everything to everything. And now I'm stuck here, lost again. Lost two fights in a row. Well, I definitely won. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the sport. I'm I'm upset and angry now. I don't want to cry. I'm upset and angry. Up. I'm so I'm broken hearted. I give everything for this sport for 12 years. 12 years I had to stumble, come back, done what I had to do, and look what it's given me. Nothing. All for politics. All for politics. For people's pockets. You know what I mean? How about my pockets? I should be having a big fight now with Fowler. You know what I mean? And Fowler don't even deserve that. But I would have given him that fight because it's good for the public. But I should be having that fight. Do you know what I mean? But none of them are going to want to fight me now. Do you know what I mean? I, oh, let's put Ted in with Kieran Conway. Why am I fighting Kieran Conway? What's Kieran Conway done? He managed to scrape a draw with me because, they, again, they didn't want to give him a decision. What, what does Kieran Conway bring to the table? I'm current British champ I was current British champion. I clearly won that fight. I should still be British champion now. I should have uh, defended the belt twice and had one more fight to win it outright. And that's why I'm sick of it. Why do I want to do it anymore? Why do I want to train? Why do I want to put myself through the torture? For what? For fuck all. And that's the, the truth. I don't know what more I can say. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what more I can say about it. It's disgusting. Everyone knows that. You know what? All, all three of them judges tonight should be ashamed of themselves. I hope tonight when they go home, they can't sleep because. I'm 24 years old, I'm still a baby in this sport. I've got a big career ahead of me. Doing things like that finishes people's career, do you know what I mean? And I shouldn't, I should be going on, I should be going on to big things. Do you know what I mean? I had a stumble, but I could have had that one more fight with Fatla, and then I was back at European level again. And I'm still only a baby, do you know what I mean? I'm not 25 till next August, do you know what I mean? But they didn't want me to do it, they don't want me, my face don't fit. And that's exactly how it is, my face don't fit. Everyone I spoke to, I got 50, 60 messages on there from random people, not even my own people, from random people. Disgusting, robbery, what was Sky watching there? What was everyone watching there? What was the judges watching? What can I do? Do you know what I mean? What, why don't Sky like me? Do you know what I mean? I take every fight. I, I ain't took no easy fights. Look at my last fights. Look at all my fights. They're not easy fights. Since, since I've had seven fights, I've been taking risk after risk after risk. Do you know what I mean? I push for the fight with Sergio Garcia. It weren't, we got offered it. I said to my manager, Charlie, this looks like a good fight. Let's push for this. European title. I've been pushing, pushing, pushing. Since I had five fights. Come and tell me, I want the English title. Come. And now I fought for the English title. And I fight. What more do I have to do? I'm, I'm giving everything to sport. I'm taking, making sacrifices. Putting entertain, entertaining fights on. Do you know what I mean? All I weren't rushing forward tonight. I was boxing, picking a jab, making a miss, slipping, hitting him with the uppercut. What, what can I do? I don't know what I've done wrong tonight. I don't know what I've done wrong, except for let the last two rounds slip, but I've done that cleverly boxing. It was a tactic. What did I, what did I want to do? Stand in there and have a fight like everyone's been slagging me off for for the last six months. Ah, uh, Ted defending his head. I never defended my head tonight, did I? Defending my gloves and my feet. And I boxed class, and that's the main thing. That What can I do other than that? And, and I still never got the decision. So no matter what I do, it's not right. Okay, then I, I, listen, I appreciate this is not really yeah. a, a good time and yeah. you've kind of said what you felt like you needed to say, so I don't think there's, from my side, there's anything more to kind yeah. of ask. Are you, is there anything else you want to nah, add? Nah, nah, I just, I just, like I said earlier, I hope them judges, deep down, think about what they've done tonight and really feel bad about themselves for the next next year, two years, and they, don't, they, they suffer sleeping because it's disgusting what they've done to a young boy and me. I'm, still, I'm a young man and what they've done tonight is disgusting. I don't deserve that. Uh, as much as Scott Fitzgerald's a, probably a bad liver and everything outside the account, I'm a dedicated person. He's had his problems, I've had my problems. I've got through my problems, he's got through his problems. But tonight, I was a better man. Maybe we fight ten times, he might win five, I'm going win five. But tonight, I was 100% the better man. And I deserve the win. But like you say, there's no more I can say than that. Because what's done is done and I can't do nothing about it. But I'm going to be sick now for weeks. Because it's not like football. I can't fight next week and get a win and it's all changed. Now again, no matter what everyone says, I'm the loser. My last two fights says a draw, a loss, loss, draw, lost. 
But the only loss I deserve is the one for the European title through my own mistakes in my mental side of my life. But the last two fights I deserve to win. I got through the last fight, it's a draw, I don't mind. I'm still in the same position, I've still got the chance. I took my chance tonight. I took my chance, trained like a lunatic, trained, broke all my times, sparred unbelievable, worked on different things, done it tonight, executed the game plan, and it never come it, it come off, but it never come off on the judges. Because I don't get I I really don't get I I'm coming into the change room tonight and I've said to everyone, I said, look, come on, I'm not deluded, I, I, I'm not going nuts, but surely I'm not the only one who thinks I won it. And everyone thinks I won it clearly. Everyone's getting Texas, it's not just me, the whole team. Everyone's getting Texas. Ted definitely won that. All from bro proper boxing people, not just um, your average Joe, proper boxing people. And it's not just because they like me, because a lot of people, even like the likes of Kevin Mitchell, last fight, even when I draw, they said, look, your head movement, it ain't working it right, you're, you're taking too many shots, whatever, you're not, I, but obviously I was still getting over my st uh, stuff then, but it's been a long time now, I got over it, worked well in camp this camp, boxed, boxed on the back foot, and I made, I made Fitzgerald look like an average fighter, and I made myself look like a top domestic fighter, you know what I mean, and I'm still only young and I could have pushed on, but now, right now, I'm at a, I'm a catch-2020 point where I really do think fuck the sport. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't want to put myself through this shit to go through that again because it's heartbreaking. All the feeling you go through this week, all, all the emotional things you go through training and, and this last few days, what you go through, the, the different things, thoughts, the million outcomes you think of. Uh, listen, I've been, I've been doing everything possible, going to sleep early, dieting right. You know what I mean? Any little thing that was wrong, I made it right this camp and I boxed class and, I, and that's why I'm so gutted. Because if I if it was close and I deser I felt like I deserved to lose or it could have been a draw and I lost, I think I'm up north is a bit unlucky. But I pissed the fight, you know what I mean? And that's all I've got to say, mate. I, I just I hope everyone can appreciate what I actually said and, and that, that they everyone does believe it ain't just me and I ain't deluded. But a lot of people around me are saying it and a lot of people who, who I don't even know are saying it, so I can't be deluded. All right, Ted. Listen, I appreciate your time. Yeah. Like I said I know it's uh, it's not really a good time for yeah. you, so I do appreciate your time, and uh, yeah. hopefully uh, I'll speak to you soon. So yeah, cheers. We'll leave it there. Yeah, cheers. All right, thank you, thank you mate. Cheers.